everybody working on uh, lapping these valves here for the um, Ford Ranger 98 2.7 or 2.5 liter engine I had a bird number three valve we addressed that already so I'll show you guys here a little lapping action uh, if you guys don't know how to do this you're gonna want to pick up some of the valve grinding compound got this at O'Reilly's they have it at AutoZone, Pet Boys, whatever you're gonna want to use one of these guys and what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a little suction cup get a little suction on there and you're gonna put a little bit of that paste right here right around the valve seat and you're going to lap this valve by spinning this in between both hands and what the concept of this is is that you're gonna achieve a three-faced valve seat that's been cleaned up and reset then pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to be rotating it and then you're going to pick it up move it over and so on and so forth well, what you want to do is the very mild amount of pressure you don't want to be pressing down too hard you don't want to do anything like that very lightly very lightly rotate and pick it up and move Sorry about that. Let's see if there's another shot. Here we go. Up. Let's see. That's what you're going to be doing. You're going to do that a couple times, and then you're going to take out the valve. You're going to measure the margin of the seat. times we're gonna go ahead and pop the valve back out of place you guys can see that wherever the camera is this is gonna be looking like so if I can get some focus here horrible camera here the LG G4 shit out phone and focus there we go so you can see the area that was ground down. I should be getting three faces on it. I'm going to clean it up and check it. Wiping it down with a nice clean cloth. And then once again, there it is. But see, that's a little too wide. That center margin, so we're going to keep grinding it down. Don't want to have any lip or anything on into there. And you want to get it down to whatever the book says on this one. It's one thirty seconds of an inch. Just put a little bit more of that paste. I have it piled up here on the inside. A little dab of it so that I can uh, not have to grab a tube every time. We insert it on. So then, just like that, you're just going to keep doing that until you achieve what you're looking for. And your specs that is in the book. I have a book on this engine, so. I think it's one of my customers that actually had it already, so it makes it a little easier. And pretty much, you know, keep going at it. And get all the pitting and everything else that may be on that face. You want to get all that out, all the discrepancies. And you want to achieve that three face angle. And then, yeah, we're good to go. Let's see this pull out check again. I've already lapped these a little bit earlier. Just haven't done the number four cylinder, so that's what I'm working on now. So that way. Let's see if we can focus in there. It's getting better. Now what you do is you take your uh, machinist rule here. I'm going to take a machinist rule in 30 seconds because our spec is in 30 seconds. And we're going to measure the little lightened area there. And we have at about we're at three about three thirty seconds. I don't know if that thing was focusing on that or not. About three thirty seconds. We need to be at two thirty seconds, so give it a little bit more. But that's what you're uh, trying to achieve. So there you go.